Um, a car that probably cost $300 up to one that cost 15000 You ready? This is the Winter Nationals in Enid, Oklahoma. It's October the 20th. This is the final race of the season. This wraps up the NCRA, which is the National Championship Racing Association. This is the final race. And good Lord willing, we're hoping that we'll win the race. We set quick time and we have a real good shot at it. We've got a beautiful day, beautiful crowd, and it ought to prove for some exciting racing today. The car is running real strong, and I think the track conditions are going to be excellent. They're preparing to run the first heat and kick this thing off right away. We're doing this especially for you. I want you to meet your favorite driver, Benny Taylor, here. Benny, how'd you do yesterday? <laughs> did you have to ask? <laughs> now let me ask you, how'd you do? I did great, thank you. I Praise know you Lord. did. I know that's right. <laughs> well, maybe if I'd been with you I, the night before, why well, maybe that I would have done better, but I wasn't. Oh. Well, we can cure that. I'll do a revival next week. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is Terry Doss, as you might well know. And he's agreed to get on film just for your sake. Terry, how'd you do in time draws yesterday? I did bad. I timed 15. 15? Yeah. Well, Terrible. I understand you got a new car here. You haven't driven this car very much, have you? Yeah, that's no excuse for going slow. Well, that's a good way to look at it because if you don't, you know, excuse yourself for anything, you just get fast. Blame it on the car or something. You just get slow, right? right? We're going to show these film at the house one evening. We'd like for you to come and go. Sure be glad to. You still plan on coming to the revival? I'm going to try it. Great, great. This is the 501 racing team. Ted Seaman, Gary Thompson, our chaplain Paul Salyer, owner and chassis man, Daryl Cleveland. Let's hear it for Daryl. Hey! <laughs> Number one fifth boss, Pop Cleveland. Yeah. Right over here. Let's hear it for Pop. Yeah. This is the one. This is the team that makes this thing go so fast. And every one of them help, I'll guarantee you. That's it. I, off. exciting things because we had set quick time, set a new track record and was only two thousandths off of the super track record. The car was running real strong, but some very tragic things have happened before this point of the race. Not too many of us are really enjoying our racing at this point. Uh, the flagman had been killed and they have replaced him going on with the program. Many of us wanted to stop the program, but we felt like that it was a race that we couldn't really uh, stop, mostly due to the number of miles everybody had traveled. There are just many mixed emotions about the whole race. We were having trouble getting off to a start. We, this is the second time around, and Flagman is having trouble keeping the cars in line. They're all supposed to come around the turn, especially the front two cars. The car on the outside is having trouble 
staying low. This is the fourth time, and uh, I believe we start to race at this point. As you see, my car is running real strong. It's not having any trouble staying out in front. I was aware that uh, I knew, and I really felt like, uh, that the car, if it finished the race, that it would win. As you can see, at daylight's the second place car, and the third place cars just go out of sight practically. It keeps, you know, picking up several car lengths from each lap. I'm just taking it easy, trying to get a real good feel of the track the first few laps, and still uh, moving right on out. But about the third lap, the car starts missing with me. I have no idea. Why my whole heart just sinks down to my stomach. I have no idea what the problem is. So I'm up trying to feel up under the dash to see if a ignition wire or whatever it is is loose. And I can't seem to find anything. So I know it's just a matter of time. If either the car just quits entirely or if it holds on like this and cuts on and off, maybe it will, you know, go ahead and win the race. We're still picking up plenty of uh, space between ourselves, the first and second place car. But as I said, I, I'm real doubtful at this point. As I come around for this next lap, there is a car that has turned over, so they stopped the race. Well, I'm really happy because I think we have five minutes, and this may give us a chance to find out what the problem is. We'll turn it back over to the narrator. Somebody flipped his car. That's the end of nine or ten laps. They're going to have to have a restart. Don is running first place, pretty strong first. Okay, they're fixing to start again. They're fixing to start again. They've had a recount. They said six laps complete instead of nine. All Don's got to do is finish ahead of man number six which is a red car in third place to the
I'd like to take this opportunity to just say a few words about the way God used my racing. Even though this wasn't exactly the kind of end we would have liked to have had, but I just know that, you know, in times like this, that if we we'll look to Jesus, that he will give us strength and he'll give us courage. And above all, he'll bestow his grace on us. And we can overcome such things as these. This is only a race. We place a lot of importance on things like this. But I think that anything that we have in our lives that we put ahead of the life that we have in Christ, I think that God will truly take it out of our lives because the only God we should have in our life is Him. And we should be looking to God's will and how He can manifest His Son Jesus through our lives. I thank the Lord that I was able to use my racing as a witness to many of the car drivers. And at this particular evening, it was very important. I'm here in my home right now showing some of the trophies that I won over the last two years. But I know one thing, that the opportunities that God gave me to witness for his son Jesus, the trophies that he gave me, at those times, they'll last forever. These trophies here, yes, I'm proud of them, but most of all, they, uh, they will be gone. Someone else will win the race next year, the next night. But no one else will be able to do what we do for the Lord here on earth.